1 over 4 times 20. So 20 is same as 20 over 1. So I just rewrite this. This is just like a quarter you time by 20 over 1. Now the 4 and the 20 we can both can divide by 4. So we just divide by 4. So 20 divided by 4 is 5 and 4 divided by 4 is 1. So now I just time the numerator and the denominator together. So 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 1 is 1. So 5 over 1. So 5 over 1 is just equal to 5. 3 over 7 times 40. Again, 40 is just like 40 over 1. So if I rewrite this, so it's easier to see. So just time by 40 over 1. So what I can do, I can just time the numerator with numerator and the denominator with the denominator. So 3 times 40, so 3 times 4 is 12. And at 0, I just write it down. And 7 times 1 is 7. So 120 over 7. But this is improper fraction. So what I need to do is I need to write in mixed numeral. So 7 go to 12 is 1. So the remainder is 12 minus 7. 10 minus 7 is 3. At 2 is 5. The remainder is 5. And then become 50. So 7 go to 50 is 7 times. Because 7 times 7 is 49. So remainder is 1. So 1 over 7. So the answer is 17 and 1 over 7. 205 times 2 over 5. So 205 is just same as 205 over 1. So I just rewrite this. So 205 over 1 times 2 over 5. Now 205 and 5 I can divide both by 5 because 5 is the highest common factor. So divide by 5 on the top and then divide by 5 here. So which is 5 go to 20 is 4 times and then 5 go to 5 is 1. And then just over 1 first and then 2 I just write it down 5 divided by 5 is 1. So now I just time them up. So 41 times 2, double 40 is 80, double 1 is 2, so the answer is 82. 1 times 1 is 1, so the answer is 82. Over 1, so it's 82. 100 times 5 over 6. So I just, 100, it's just like 100 over 1. So I just rewrite in here. So 100 over 1 times... 5 over 6. Now the 100 and the 6, I can simplify by both divided by 2. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. So, and then the answer is 50. So just same as 50 over 1. And 6, I divide by 2, of course. So that 5 over 3. So now I just time them up now. So 5 times 5 is 25, and is 0, I just write it down. So 50 times 5 is 250, or over 3. Then, of course, I need to write in mixed numeral. So 3 go to 25 is 8 times, because 8 times 3 is 24, so remainder 1. So 3 go to 10 is 3 times, because 3 times 3 is 9, so remainder is 1, so 1 over 3. So the answer is 83 and one third. Please stop the video and do this one yourself. 3 over 4 times 60. So 60, it's just like 60 over 1. So 60 and 4, I can um, both divide by 4. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. 6 60 divided by 4, 4 go to 6 is 1. I just write here and remainder 2. So 4 go to 20 
is 5. I just write 5 here, so that is 15. And I cannot simplify any further. So 3 times 15 is 45. So I just write 45 over 1 times 1 is 1. So the answer is 45. 2 over 5 times 27. So 27 is equal to 27 over 1. So we cannot simplify. So what we do, we just do the numerator times together and the denominator times together. So 27 times 2 is 54. And then 1 times 5 is 5. So now we just need to write in um, mixed numeral. So 5 go to 5 is 1. And 5 go to 4 is 9. So I put 0 and remainder 4. So 4 over 5. 200 times 5 over 6. So 200 it is same as 200 over 1. And 206 both can divide by 2. Now half of 200 is 100. So half of 6 is 3. So now all I need to do is just time them up. Top times the top. So 100 times 5 is equal to 500. Over 3 times 1 is 3. Then convert to in mixed numeral. Now 3 go to 5 is 1. Remainder 2. So I just cross this 5 out. Remainder 2. So 3 go to 20 is 6 times because 6 times 3 is 18. So remainder 2. 3 go to 20 again is 6 times. Remainder 2. So 2 over 3. 23 times 5 over 7. So 23 is just like 23 over 1. And I cannot simplify. So what I do, I just go 23 times 5. So 23 times 5. So 5 times 3 is 15. Carry 1. 5 times 2 is 10. At once, 11. So 115 over 1 times 7 is 7. So now all I need to do is I just write in mixed numeral. So 7 go to 11 is 1. Remainder 4. So I just cross this out. 4. So become 45. 7 go to 45 is 6 times. 6 times 7 is 42. So remainder 3. So 3 over 7. Thank you so much for watching.